Hey friends, are you ready to learn more about Jesus today? Let's be airplanes together and zoom right into some music. Ready, arms out, zoom. memory verse, John eleven twenty five. 25. Now let's get started. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Now let's say it loud. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will, will live. live. Whoa, that's a big deal. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Ugh. Let's go to our Bible story now to learn more about Jesus. On the first day of the week in the evening, Jesus' disciples met together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid. They didn't want to be killed, too. But now some of the disciples were saying they had seen Jesus alive. Could it be true? As the disciples talked, Jesus came and stood right there with them. Peace to you, he said. Jesus' disciples were afraid. Maybe they were seeing a ghost. Look at me, Jesus said. Touch me. A ghost does not have skin and bones but I do. Jesus showed them his hands and his side. They saw where Jesus had been hurt. Jesus was alive. What good news! The disciples were so happy. Jesus' disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. Then Jesus told them that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. Jesus' disciples needed to tell other people to turn away from sin and be forgiven. Jesus said, God sent me to earth. Now I am sending you. One of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, was not with the other disciples when Jesus visited them. Thomas did not believe that they saw him. I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe, Thomas said. 
Eight days later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in and stood with them. Peace to you, Jesus said. Then Jesus told Thomas, touch the marks on my hands and my side. I am alive, believe it. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, you believed because you saw me. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. God made Jesus alive again. Jesus visited many people so they would know he is alive. Jesus is still alive today. We have not seen Jesus, but if we believe in him, we will be blessed. He wants us to tell others the good news about him. Yes! God made Jesus alive again, and he appeared to so many different people so they would know that he is alive and more powerful than death. Cece, you sure do have a lot of band-aids on you. <laughs> this week, I want your family to get a box of band-aids. You can put them all over you like Cece and I did. And I want you to talk about how sometimes whenever we get hurt or we have a boo-boo, we get scars. And Jesus, in our story this week, got to open his hands and show his friend Thomas his scars. And that's how Thomas knew that it was Jesus and that he was alive. I'm so glad you stopped by to learn more about Jesus today. Remember this, Jesus is alive and he loves you so much. I'll see you next time, bye.